It is most fitting that historic and prestigious Davis Cup matches are to be held at the grass courts of Delhi Gymkhana Club, the best sporting legacy of India. So here we have today with us our lightning guide, Mr. Daljeet Walia. Mr. Daljeet Walia is the chairman for sports committee, Delhi Gymkhana Club, and also he has a major role to play in the organizing committee of Davis Cup 2022. Welcome, sir, to our show. Thank you. And I'm Priya. here to sit with him in this cart. And he is going to take me to the walkthrough of Delhi Gymkhana Club. Follow me. Delhi Gymkhana Club, one of the oldest clubs in India, which has upheld the ethos and high standard of both elite and amateur sport and competition for over a century since it moved to its current location in 1913. In, on 3rd July 1903, the Imperial Delhi Jamkhana Club came into being. It was changed to Delhi Jamkhana Club in 1947. At that point of time, the government allocated us about 27 acres of land on a perpetual lease. So, would you like to elaborate all the sports facilities uh, of Jim Khanna Club? It's one of our major objectives, the names of this club is sports. We have tennis. As far as tennis goes, we have probably one of the few clubs in the world that has all the three surfaces. We have 25 lawn tennis courts, what, are, what you call as grass courts. We have four clay courts and we have three plexi cushion courts. We've had a number of national tournaments here, national open championships. We've had Davis Cup matches here against Japan, Germany, New Zealand. We've had a Grand Prix here on the its beautiful grass courts, probably one of the best in the world, maybe the second to Wimbledon only. There are only two major clubs in India that have very good grass courts. That's Delhi Jamkhana Club and the South Club in Calcutta. Uh, other sports facilities that we have in this club is squash, badminton, billiards, swimming, cards, rummy and bridge, table tennis. We have a spa, we have a gymnasium, a very up-to-date gymnasium. We have two swimming pools, one of, one of international uh, specification size. Uh, you, amazing sports facilities in this club and uh, when we go around I'm going to show you the other facilities that are there for those who do not play sports. The club has an active tennis membership of over 200 people and encourages youth participation with a training academy for juniors. A healthy competitive spirit is fostered by the numerous inter and intra club tournaments hosted here. The tennis facilities are world-class with flood-lit clay and synthetic courts which are enjoyed throughout the day by members. The pride of the club, however, is the 26 grass courts which are meticulously maintained to the standards of Wimbledon's centre court. At a time when grass courts are not as prevalent in tennis anymore, these facilities are truly remarkable and help preserve an important traditional style of tennis which has historically suited Indian players. All these factors make the Delhi Gymkhana Club the perfect host for the Davis Cup tie. Davis Cup is one of the oldest and loved tournaments in the sports history. As I can see, you know, we have a large and plush grass court behind us in the backdrop. So is this the venue, is this the same grass court our Davis Cup is going to happen? Where we are standing are going to be the practice courts for the Indian team and behind me is going to be the match court play. The court on which the matches will be played two days on March 4th and 5th and behind those courts are practice courts for the Denmark team. So these are the fabulous grass courts that you'll see some 
amazing, exciting tennis to be played very soon. So, how did the name, the Imperial Gym Khana Club, change to Delhi Gym Khana Club, and when did it happen? It happened in 1947 when we got our independence, and that was the time to get rid of the imperial part of it and make it the Delhi Gym Khana Club. And I think it was a very joyous moment for all our members. As we all know that grass courts are not so much prevalent in tennis anymore. So it is truly remarkable to have such plush grass courts. Is it going to support our Indian Davis Cup team? Is it an advantage? Well, most places in the world now has been switched to either clay or plexi cushion on surfaces other than grass. Grass is very difficult to maintain and most people, most tennis players worldwide are not playing so much in grass. We have, one of the reasons is because they don't have grass courts in most locations except for places like Wimbledon, etc. We are lucky that we have grass courts to offer to IATA, AITA, All India Tennis Association and the Delhi Lawn Tennis Association and they've been very kind to decide as a home choice, home country choice to play on grass courts here because we believe that we will certainly have a distinct advantage playing on a surface like grass which is a faster surface, keeps the ball low and I think our tennis players will be able to perform definitely better than the overseas team from Denmark. I'm hoping that our Indian team takes full advantage of the grass courts and hopefully we should go on to do a great job of this Davis Cup match. Where athletes who usually play an individual sport have the chance to play together for their country. AIDA and DGC will host India's opponents in the World Group Playoffs. Denmark, who are ranked 50 in the world. Preparations at the club have begun and a biosecure bubble will be created for 4th and 5th March to ensure the utmost safety of all players and guests. All the best to the club and the All India Tennis Association for holding a successful event. So this was the history of Delhi Gym Khana Club, which is just a few days away to host World Cup of Tennis, Davis Cup 2022. This is Supriya Sixena reporting from NewsX. For more important updates, keep listening to me and watching me only on NewsX. Thank you.